a dark and stormy night returning from a shopping trip. A 19-year-old, six-month pregnant woman comes home to find her kitchen tables and chairs thrown out on the front porch, beer bottles everywhere, and an argument then ensues. Her husband grabs a butcher knife and he chases her a block to a neighbor's house where she finds refuge until the police are called. Violence against women has existed as long as history. The opening story I shared with you is my story. Most of you here are on a path to a higher level of chivalry. For this reason, I ask you to pay heed. Listen to my words and ponder them well, for there's a war against women that needs to be fought. Violence against women is a universal phenomenon. According to a UN report from 2010, examining violence against women worldwide found that the rates of women experiencing violence at least once in their lifetime ranges from several percent to 59 percent. In 2009, 4.3 million non-fatal violent crimes against women were committed here in the U.S. Research also shows that the culture in which a woman was raised has significant influences on her chances of being a victim of violent crime. According to the UN report, World's Women 2010 Violence Against Women, the proportion of women exposed to physical violence in their lifetime ranges from 12% in China, Hong Kong, 13% in Azerbaijan, to about half in Australia, and Mozambique, 51% in the Czech Republic, and half in Zambia. In a 2000 National Violence Against Women survey, which was quite extensive, it was estimated that 1.9 million women are physically assaulted annually. Now that we've seen the extent of the problem, we can discuss some of the causes. One of the causes is unequal power relations between men and women. As of no November 6, 2012, we now have 20 female senators in Congress. That's the highest it's ever been. Physical differences, obviously, between male and female. And wives unable to file charges against their spouses in many other countries. A second cause is social behaviors and religious beliefs. In Muslim cultures in the Middle East, more more often than not, they force burqas and honor killings. Gentlemen's clubs scattered through the U.S., magazine pornography availability, and social acceptance of this pornography and other pornography easily accessed through the World Wide Web contribute to the degradation of women. A third cause is violence against children. Abuse as a child, verbal or physical, or the witnessing of abuse by that child, and the religious and educational practices of a child imprint on a developing psyche. <coughs> the extent of the problem is clear. So too are its major causes. What steps can you take to help bring a solution to this problem? <coughs> there are lots of major steps that you can take. You can call for harsher penalties for those violating the law. A girlfriend of mine returned from Operation Desert Storm within a month. Her husband shot her in the hand once and four times in the back. I was a witness at that court. He got seven years probation for killing her. Improving the ability to obtain restraining orders and stronger police enforcement of those restraining orders. You can call for social awareness globally of human rights violations against women. 
You can put on increased political pressure on countries not working to improve women's basic rights through contacting your senators and your congressmen. And finally, you can take personal intervention. If you see violence happening, you don't have to ignore it. Pick up your phone and call 911. Call the police department. Call somebody if you don't have a phone. If you're in a Walmart, go notify a manager. Tell them to call their security. You can do something. This year, hundreds of women from teen to adult will lose their lives to physical violence. This does not include all the mental abuse that women suffer. Violence against women is not a problem that's going to be resolved overnight. It's going to take time and diligence from each one of us and from all peoples around the world to bring peace against the war on women. This plan is already in action through the courts in the U.S., various other nations, and the U.N. However, it's going to take each and every one of us, every one of us, to get involved, to stop this war on violence. Thanks. Yay.